Hello there. Today we are going to cook some lovely little partridge. Spring is in the air, all the plants are in bud, the daffodils are up, and there's still a couple of stragglers left in the freezer. So I thought, let's do a nice little video, a simple video, and use a few of these last few game birds up. So what I'm going to do, in my pan, I'm just going to put a bit of oil, and I'm going to season the inside of these two partridge and what we're going to do we're going to make a lovely sauce as you can see there aren't too many ingredients with the chicken stock the tomato i got one chopped onion two chopped garlic cloves some nice natural yogurt some sea salt i mean it's simple as and it's going to be a lovely tasty dish so we're seasoned inside and out and on the back as well and all we're going to do then is just add a little bit of colour to this just take your time you know take a few minutes you don't want to burn them and then we can get on and make that fantastic sauce which we'll finish with that natural yogurt it's going to be genius so we're just adding a bit of colour to these so we'll start breast side down nice and gentle not too high a heat, just add a bit of colour. As you've seen my videos before, add a bit of colour, turn it, turn it until it's all browned all over. I've added a nice bit of colour to those, as you can see. That took about 10 minutes. They look stunning, they do. Beautiful. As you can see in there, we've got that oil and all those lovely juices. So, like I said, it's simple. Two crushed garlic cloves. One decent sized onion diced. I'm going to take the heat out of the pan. And we're just going to soften these down. That's going to take about 10 or 15 minutes. That heat's coming out of that pan. So a good pinch of salt, a good sea salt. Obviously, we're adding all that liquid. We'll put a lid on and sweat these down. 10 minutes. We'll check on them. So those are being done. They've been 10 minutes. If you have a look in there. Now, I said this was a simple dish and I meant it. It really is easy. So it's took 10 minutes to brown those, 10 minutes to soften those. So what we're going to do next, into our softened onions, a hundred ml of chicken stock. Put the heat back under that, get it bubbling and some of this fantastic passata. You can buy it anywhere, but try and buy a good one. I think this is one of the best. Now, this is a 500 mil carton. I want 250. So, about half of that. Get that in. And what we need to do is bring that up to the boil. We're gonna lay our partridges in, and let it simmer for 40 minutes or until those birds are tender. And then you take the birds out, reduce it a little bit, add the yogurt, and that is it. Jobs are good then. It's that simple. But what I think I'm gonna do is add a bit of Worcester sauce to that. You know, because what's a Bloody Mary without Worcester sauce? I reckon a kick of Worcester, and it's rock and roll, baby. That's just coming up to a simmer. Oh, it tastes so rich. A little bit of Worcester though, takes it somewhere else. You don't need me to tell you the original and the best. Let's try that now. Oh, that tastes. So, in with the old partridge. We'll let that come up to a simmer, lid on, 40 minutes. We'll check it, if it's tender, we'll finish that sauce. That's about an hour to cook the whole thing, tip top. So these little beauties, let's have a look in there. How amazing do they look? Nice and tender, absolutely stunning. So I'm just gonna put them on a plate. Now I wanna reduce that sauce just a little bit, just to thicken it up. And then we're gonna add our yogurt. So all I'm doing then to thicken it, on the heat, full blast, lid off, give it five minutes, that'll go down. I'll put some foil on the old partridge, We'll add the yoghurt, put the partridge back in, warm it through, and we're done. 
as you can hear then, my tomato sauce is reduced to a nice thick consistency. You have a look in there. Oh yes. All we're gonna do then, 250 ml natural yogurt. Nice and rich, creamy. Put that in there. Oh, oh, oh. Give that a stir. Look at that. Fantastic that is. Just give it a taste. Mm. Forget those lovely juices. Give them a little bath, I suppose. Let them warm up. Then we'll serve that up. Let's do this. My two fantastic partridge. One like that, I suppose. And one like that. Now I would just serve this, put it that way, with just some nice crusty bread. I really wouldn't bother getting any fancy ideas just keep it simple, give it some of this sauce, creamy. Beautiful. Get some nice French bread. And then just get stuck in. And you haven't got to do this just with partridge, you know, you could use up your grouse, rabbit. If you've got some smaller pheasants, even some nice smaller pheasants, you know. And it's simple 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 and there you have it my pot roasted partridge with yogurt i'm going to finish it off with just a little hot smoked paprika just to add a little bite don't they look lovely right then let's have a look at this take a little leg get some of that breast meat off Oh, some of that sauce. Wow. That really is fantastic. Give it a go. Like I said, you haven't got to use partridge. That is damn good. Thanks for watching. Right, let's get stuck into this. Get me bread. Ah, oh, it's a hard knock life. Mm -hmm.